Hello, it's Pia from Pia's Creative World. Now today I want to show you how you can use the Bellbinders hot foil system with embossing folders. I got a request to try and test it out and I've chosen four different embossing folders that are different in pattern and different in, how do you say, open space areas which we are going to test and see what works best. Now I'm starting out with the embossing folder from uh, Lifestyle Crafts. This is the sequence pattern and I am trying to get a sense of which side I am going to use because you can either use the front side or the back side, the negative or the positive side. I think that's the best way to say it. Now when I'm heating up the uh, hot foil system I am placing the embossing folder with the back side down against the heating and this spacer pad and then I'm weighing it down. Now I'm using a candle holder of glass which is heavy and that's to ensure that I get a full contact with the heating pad area or heating surface and while it's there heating up I am preparing my heat activated foil. I'm choosing a gold pattern this time, a gold color, sorry. Now, when the heating is ready, I place the foil always with the color down, meaning the back side upwards, and then I place my cardstock and I put back the spacer pad and my heavy weight. And then I push the button, the timer button, and it will continue to keep blinking green blinking as long as it's heating up or getting warmed up and ready for use. In the meanwhile, let me present what sandwich I'm going to use in my Big Shot. I've got a metal shim, a piece back of a standard paper pad and the thin shim from the Glimmer Hot Foil system and a piece of 160 gram paper. This is the sandwich I'm going to use for this embossing folder and this pattern. I'm using this sandwich because I sense that the pattern in the embossing folder is um, not very big. I don't have very big open spaces. Um, and I'm showing this video in real time so you get an idea of how long it's going to take. And now the timer lights stop blinking. Even though it stopped blinking, I am actually going to wait a little while longer. I think it's about, it's not long, it's about 30 seconds or something like that. So it's not very long. Now the important thing is don't forget that you have this plastic embossing folder on your heating pad. That would not be a good advice. I'm placing my sandwich on top of the spacer pad and again I'm placing the weight. I'm just doing this because Meanwhile, I'm preparing, getting my big shot, my die cutting machine. I might as well keep the weight on to ensure a good full contact with the heating surface. Now I'm ready to pull out the Glimmer Hot Fall system and I'm putting the whole thing, including the sandwich, and run it through the big shot machine. I'm doing it slowly, as slowly as possible. And just going back, no, not going back, going one way first and then when I sort of hit the point I can sort of feel resistance I stop and then I go back again this is what I'm going to do in every test when I run it through my big shot now this is the sandwich that probably works for my big shot it might not work for your big shot and it might not work for your die cutting machine if you're using another one you have to test it out and see what works for you. And now we have come to the time where we have to see the result, removing the sandwich, removing the spacer pad and of course first remember to move, remove the embossing folder from the heating surface. Very important thing to remember that. And now it's time to see how this turns out. Turned out. I am actually very very much satisfied. This turned out a heck of a lot better than I actually anticipated or expected. Now I've got the 
in this situation I got a positive and a negative and who knows maybe you can find a way to use the other one next up is a wood grain uh, pattern there's a bit more space open space now I'm going to do exactly the same as before now this time I just forgot to put my embossing folder on the heating surface while I'm preparing the foil and cast off but you know it doesn't really make that much sense again I'm placing the embossing folder with the inside up if that makes sense um, as this pattern is very much alike whether it's on one side or the other it doesn't matter which of the insides I'm choosing now I've got my foil ready I'm placing the foil again always color side down meaning the back side upwards and the paper on top and the spacer pad and my weight now I'm using this glass candle holder you can use something else um, I don't know what but actually my first idea was to borrow some of my husband's diving weights uh, you know those you put in your BCD vest but we couldn't find them so I ended up using this candlelight holder again my sandwich is ready I'm using the whole sandwich again this time because I find the pattern on the wood grain is quite narrow um, not so big open spaces and I'm getting the big shot ready I'm pulling it out of the glimmer hot foil system and the whole thing is again slowly run through the big shot I am again using Spellbinder's heat activated foil um, and I don't know about other brands of heat activated foil if they sort of react differently to the heat I don't know so this with this technique it always comes down to testing testing and testing again remember to move remove the heat oh no so remember to move the embossing folder from the heating pad that was what I'm going to say look at this result It's not completely perfect but it's absolutely usable next up this one has quite a lot of big open space areas so I'm quite a bit I'm very curious about the result with this one again I'm placing it on the heat pad heat service I don't know what to call it and while I'm preparing the foil um, now I believe you see, this pattern actually has quite a different look whether you're choosing the one side or the other of the embossing folder um, I'm trying to choose the part where I get the best looking pattern in my opinion but I think it comes down to personal test taste uh, in the end okay the timer's on it's blinking we're waiting now for my sandwich this time I decide not to include 160 gram paper um, because of the open space I'm thinking mm, I might not need that much pressure this time because extra pressure will actually make the foil hit the open space areas and then also foil those um, so I don't know if removing the 160 gram paper is enough but we'll see how the result turns out I'm quite curious about this one it's not honestly I don't use my embossing folders I don't so this might actually be like a hooray situation to actually use them more now look at this it's not it's not perfect but it's actually okay so if you're into that look that steampunk look it's actually okay now the last one is a Sissix dots embossing folder here you also have got a bit of open space now here the two sides are very different I am first testing out the side with the small dots trying to figure out and see ah, it's not it's usable usable but it's not perfect you see out in the sides I get more pressure it might be my big shot so I decide to test out the opposite side the negative side I'm hoping that this would actually will give a better result so while I'm heating up the embossing folder I am preparing my foil now this time I'm also using Spellbinder's heat activated foil I believe this color is called rose I think so 
This is it. I'm placing the foil collar down, which means the back side upwards and the spacer pad on top. Now, while this heats up and gets ready, I've sort of cut in it and trying to, you can get a better sense of it. Now, my sandwich this time, I'm going to use the full one. The shim, the metal shim, the cardstock and the 160 grams and the thin shim from the Glip Heart Foil System and running. Through. Now I'm choosing the full sandwich because I've got a lot more surface which is going to be foiled because it's only the little dots that is going to be the open space uh, where I don't want foiling to happen. And that's what I keep in mind every time when I'm choosing and testing a new embossing folder is actually the open space amount. Now look at this, this is a lot, lot better than before. And, and then I got this piece with the little dots, perhaps it can be used for another project, somehow, who knows. Thank you so much for watching through my test. Now I'd be happy if you would click the subscribe button. But nevertheless, I hope you have a great day and I hope you get some crafting done.